Hello everyone, I am Tanya Martinez from Remax Real Estate Results. Today I am here to talk to you guys about house hacking. What it is and how it can potentially save you guys a lot of money. But first, please make sure to subscribe if you're watching on YouTube or uh, go follow my page on Facebook and Instagram. So that way you guys can get notifications anytime I post a new video. So some of you guys may have heard of house hacking through other uh, channels like Bigger Pockets or Millennial Money. Um, I'm just here to give you guys an overview of what it is and how you guys can technically house hack. Okay, so house hacking is basically when you buy a one to four unit home and you can choose to live in one unit or one of the rooms and you rent out the rest of the space. So let me give you guys a few examples. Um, if you guys are buying a single family home, sometimes there have been people that rent out, um, let's say you buy a three bedroom and you guys rent out two of the rooms and live in one. That could be a form of house hacking. Um, I have heard of some people who are crazy and in my opinion, um, and they actually live in the living room and rent out the whole other, the whole other rooms to other people. There are people that, that rent out the whole house and live in an RV on the land or even like in a tiny home in the backyard. That's one form of house hacking. Um, another form is uh, the way like I like to do it is where we buy a duplex, live on one side and uh, rent the other side. I mean there's so many ways to house hack and what this does is that this makes your home your primary residence. So being a primary residence you automatically can get a lower down payment and a uh, cheaper interest rate. So those are very helpful to do and this is what a lot of people have done to build passive income over time. One big thing that house hacking allows you to do is eliminate your biggest expense. A house payment, um, a rental payment can be a huge chunk of your money. So if you are renting out one side or renting out a few rooms that can really help cut down that expense. It can help you, it can also help you save more money in the long run towards other investments. And it gives you more flexibility to um, be able to leave the home whenever you guys need to, or um, like go on vacation and someone will still be there taking care of your home. Uh, like those kinds of things. I also forgot to mention that you can live in a home, make it your primary residence, um, and house hack that home. And the next year you can still buy something as long as it's the next year. If you decide after a year that, oh my gosh, I hate house hacking and I don't necessarily like the house that I'm living in, you can go ahead and purchase another home that you do like um, and keep that other house rented and use the income from that rental unit to be able to purchase that home. Um, some banks will allow you to use the rents, some banks won't, so that it will be up to the mortgage provider that you choose um, whether you're able to use those rents. Another benefit um, from house hacking is that potentially your home can be paid for by your tenant. So that's all also like really cool and if you have extra money, you can also throw it into the principal and pay off that home even faster. Rather than it taking you 30 years, you can probably cut that time down by 10 years and save a whole bunch of money on interest. Plus, the whole time while you're living in the house or the renter's living in your house, the house is also appreciating in value. Of course, it may not always appreciate in value, but for the most part, you're gonna be able to sell that home at a higher price than you bought it. And that's, so that's amazing. So. You're having someone pay for your home and it's increasing in value and at the end of the day when you go home when you go and sell the home or decide to refinance to take, pull some money out you're able to do so in a way that doesn't hurt your financial future a few things to take note on um, if you do end up doing this house hacking investment is that you guys will still be responsible for the property any maintenance will go through you um, you'll have to repair a leak every once in a while. You'll have to deal with tenants, and if you don't like them, sometimes you're stuck with them for a year. You don't pay rent, 
well, it's on you to pay the mortgage because the bank isn't going to stop charging you if your renter doesn't make a payment. And there's also the downside that you don't want to invest too much money property if you um, are living in it because you, most likely you're probably going to end up renting out the whole property. But of course, that also depends on the area that you buy the home in. So if you buy the home in a, in a area that has higher end homes, obviously they're going to expect more maintenance on the property since they're paying a higher rent and they're going to expect things to be nicer. But if you buy on a lower spectrum and the rents are much lower, I wouldn't invest so much money into those because honestly, you're not going to get that that money back. I mean, it's going to take, it's either going to take a long time for you to get that money back or you're not going to get that money back at all. So make sure that whenever you guys are um, putting in things, like I wouldn't say go with like the cheapest thing, but I would say go with like that medium that you know that will last a long time, that is still a good quality, but won't break the bank. Okay guys, so that was house hacking. Let me know what you guys thought. I will be putting a few links to the articles where I got my information from. Of course, some of this was just from my own experience. So just make sure that you guys read up on it. Do your research before you decide to take this step because house hacking can be um, a little bit difficult at times, especially if you're not used to living with so many people. So make sure you do your research, and if you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube. If you guys ask to more videos, go to my YouTube channel, which will be linked in the comments below as well. Um, and if you guys are on like or and follow my page, and of course on Instagram, please do the same. Um, I hope you guys like this video, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!